This is Bloomberg Markets. I'm Matt Miller. We are less than an hour away from the Fed's rate decision. The central bank is certain to keep housing on its radar as it keeps rates elevated. Let's talk about the housing market with Brown Harris, Stevens CEO, Bess Friedman. Um, Bess, great to, I, I always love to get your insight on this market. Um, you are focused on New York. Is the, is the city's market different, you think, from other markets in the country in important ways? I mean, I do think there are differences. We are in uh, Florida, in Palm Beach, in Miami, we're in Connecticut, we're in New Jersey. Uh, but, you know, New York City, where there is a distinction is we have ample inventory. We're not as tight as places like Connecticut uh, and Palm Beach. And so that's been part of the challenge. Um, you know, once we see in a meaningful way where rates start to go down, uh, then you'll start to see more sellers put their homes on the market and then we'll have the inventory that we need in certain pockets of the country. Uh, but that's been like the chicken or the egg challenge right now. You know, the inflation is, you know, too much money chasing too few goods. And that's really what it's like in housing for the most part. And so people are kind of waiting, buyers and sellers. Buyers think, you know, I'll hold off until rates come down. Uh, and sellers are thinking, well, you know, rates have doubled and maybe I'll wait because if I buy a new home, I'm gonna have to pay double what I'm paying now. So it's sort of a little bit of a waiting game. Yeah, I can imagine, uh, you know, people in homes with mortgages already would be loath to move um, just because you don't wanna have a 3% mortgage and then move somewhere else at a seven and a half percent. Is is it just rates coming down that's gonna change that? Do you think if we went into a recession, you know, that uh, stalemate would be broken as well? I mean, it could. I mean, there are a lot of factors that impact the housing market. I think uh, rates are paramount because roughly 65% of homeowners in the United States have mortgages. Uh, so when rates double, I think that it's over a 20 year high. And even though it's not the highest they've been, we've seen them in the double digits. Um, it's meaningful for people. So I think it's great news that we didn't enter a recession. I think it's also good news uh, that Powell has decided to maybe skip another increase for the Fed fund rate. Maybe it'll be a stop altogether as we see a, a sort of a period of a slowdown. Uh, the economy has proven to be really resilient, which has been a good thing in a way, but we do need a slowdown to sort of get inflation to where they're targeting. Do you see a lot Do you see a lot more good. cash deals, uh, Bess? Because yes. if you know, you're moving in high end circles, right? Greenwich, Manhattan, Palm Beach, a lot of those people can probably afford to do cash deals and uh, the numbers, the, the, the sums are too high for mortgages anyway. Yeah, Matt, it's funny. I bumped into an agent this morning where we were chatting and he was telling me he just did three different deals in luxury market and he told me they were all cash. So of course the people that have cash are spending it now. Uh, and so we are seeing more cash deals and we're seeing a decent amount of luxury sales happening. Uh, so that's a good thing, but I do think, you know, overall people are impacted by what's going on uh, with rates being higher and the glut, there's not enough inventory. I mean, people want more things to choose from and prices have really not come down overall to where they need to be. So that's sort of the trifecta of headwinds in housing right now. But as I was saying, it's a decent market. It's just not great and it's slowed down. It's a bit of a sea change. That's great to get your insight. I'm sure the Fed has Bloomberg TV on right now, so maybe we're having some effect on the decision that's due in just okay. about 22 minutes. Brown Harris Stevens, CEO, Bess Friedman, talking to us about the housing market. Coming up, the Fed decides. Special coverage of Bloomberg surveillance is John Farrow and Tom Keen. This is Bloomberg.